How are you going? Yeah, all good. How are you off the water? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine by now. Not long enough to bully an hour sign. It's only 150. Yep. Yeah, it's still a fair ride. Yeah. There's, there's not a lot of dirt left. Is that, well, when, did, when does tarmac start? Probably about 20, 25 k back. It's easy going and it's flat. Because yeah, on, on the Penny Highway, the road was pretty bad for a long time. Yeah, corrugated. Big truck you got there. <laughs> yeah. No, we haven't seen a lot of traffic. So you're pretty good for water, are you? Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going around the world. So, still a long way to go. I reckon. <laughs> good on you. That's a hell of an experience. Where's home? Uh, England. All oh, right. You're a keen man. Far away from home. <laughs> Enjoy. Take care. Welcome to Heather's Fireside Cooking, Camp Oven Cooking. Um, tonight I'm going to prepare um, a Scotch roast fillet slow cooked uh, we pulled up by the roadside early this afternoon so I thought I'd take the opportunity also I'm running out of food so um, I'm just throwing a whole lot of things together what I have in the pantry I've got potatoes here um, onions had a little bit of um, tomato chutney left over with a bit of kick in it threw in some um, um, stock and I've got some mixed herbs so and the um, important ingredient is um, the bottle of Big Red from Birdsville um, Hotel, Shiraz 2017. Not sure I'm quite happy about sharing it with the cooking, but I think it'll add that extra taste. So let's see how we go. So just throw all that in there. Throw the onion. There you go, throw a bit of um, bit more olive oil in there. Here's the scotch roast. Throw it in there to braise it. Hope it fits. Now I'm going to throw in some potatoes. As I always say to Gary, no guarantees when I cook. Okay. I'm just going to throw in some mixed herbs here. I'm going to throw in some superb beef stock. I don't know how that differs from normal beef stock, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Throw that in there. And I've got a bit. For a good measure, just no, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Salt and pepper. Ah, uh, we we'll put the lid back on, and now I'll get Gary to put the hot coals over the top of the camp oven, and fingers crossed. Well, there we have it, Heather's slow cooking scotch roast. They had two lots of tyres for their car, the tyres that they use. Proof is in the pudding, so we'll dish it up in um, probably half an hour's time. We'll just let it sit there for a little while. Um, 
nice gravy in the bottom. Bloody ripper. <laughs> All very civilised. And a little bit of gravy. Oh wow. Look at that, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. 11 out of 10. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> So we've just completed our just really um, fantastic journey. Three trucks, all expedition trucks. We met up at Lyndhurst in South Australia, followed the Udnadatta track up through William Creek up to Maree. From Maree to Mount Dare and onto Old Andado Station. And pretty much that's where all the fun and games started from there. It, for these trucks here, wasn't all that difficult. Um, in many places there, we just idled over some of the sand dunes and found it, I'll say, relatively easy the, the trucks are just super capable. They're built for this sort of terrain. This is what they're built for. Um, the two commanders and the um, Iveco didn't have any real trouble at all. When we did have any problems, it wasn't because of the trucks. It was the bullheads driving them. We got a little bit complacent at times, um, forgetting to engage diff locks, forgetting to engage four-wheel drive, um, being a little bit lazy and not wanting to drop tyre pressures down um, and then paying the price for it where we had to winch ourselves out, particularly me, because I've had the trailer on the back. If I got into soft sand, reversing the trailer back sometimes was a bit of an issue because the steer tyres weren't going to play the game and the trailer would have ended up anywhere. Um, Regardless of all that, we had an absolute ball. Thankfully, we all carried the uh, either max tracks or treads. Um, we were able to lay those down, and that got us out of out of trouble. So we can't blame the trucks. It was just the knuckleheads driving it, forgetting to do things. We continued on the um, the Madigan line. We I think we were seven days sorry, six days on the Madigan. And by the time that we did um, the Hay River track and then across the QAA, uh, it was eight days in total. But what an experience, what a lot of fun. Thankfully, the, um, the, the three groups got along very, very well. We helped each other out. Um, but before you help each other out, you pay out on your mate. That was the, the, the fun part of it all. You know, just giving each other a little bit of a dig in the ribs. Um, the trip itself, the, the countryside is fantastic. We were just so fortunate that there's been considerable rain um, throughout the whole region. And everything is just so green. Uh, the wildflowers, the, everything. The whole place looked so fresh and so clean, um, like and, and like I say, so green. It was bloody amazing. So um, once we travelled through those there, we were faced with Big Red. We had one little 
thing where we weren't too sure about first, and that was Air Creek. With it, ooh, what's Air Creek going to be like? It's slippery, it's boggy, it's everything else like that. And I just hats off to Heather. She was the first one through. She ran through the creek to be able to video us coming through. I thought, what a trooper. <laughs> like that was above and beyond. So she managed to catch us coming through there. And again, the trucks being what they are, just ate it for breakfast. We had no problems at all. Um, the expected boggings and winching each other out that just didn't eventuate. So then we come up to Big Red. That was going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, we've had our truck up and down there before. And at that time there, if, if you go back through the videos when we were doing the Burke and Wills Trail, we took on Big Red on the western side as a challenge. We managed to get through there without any great drama, but we didn't have the trailer. This time round, I dropped the tyre pressures that right down like I did before, but I took the chicken track. Poor old Dave had a go at taking his truck, the Iveco, up Big Red, but he doesn't have the central tyre inflation system, and to deflate his tyres just at present um, is a very long-winded operation. So we managed to drop the tyre pressures down to about 50 pound and he was going to attack, um, attack the track and did a top effort. He got probably three quarters of the way up, one of the steeper sections, not the chicken track. Um, but he decided to call it a day and follow us around on the chicken track. But I know damn well that had that truck dropped the tyre pressure right down, yeah, he'd have gotten up there too. So top effort, Dave. Yeah, we love that. And of course, when we're all up the top, there's high fives everywhere and, you know, the obligatory pat each other on the back. And it was a little bit sad. Our journey that, that we'd looked forward to for so long was pretty much over. It was a case then of heading into Birdsville, celebratory dinner, celebratory drinks, more high fives and just exchange more yarns but that was brilliant. Heather, again, at Birdsville, did an easy 400 metre run from where we had parked the trucks, summing it all up, and then running up Big Red to catch it all on video. Uh, <laughs> what a monumental effort. If anything, Heather's the one that deserves the medal out of all of this here. Um, for me, sending her up the track. Well, run up the track ahead and catch this bit. Run up the head and, and video this. Run up ahead and watch the trucks going down. <laughs> she's probably lost so much weight and she's so much fitter now. She's ready for the 400 meter um, sprint. But yeah, top effort, darling. Top effort. That was, that was above and beyond. So... For us now, it's, it's heading north out of, um, out of Birdsville. We're heading across the Plenty, back to Alice and so on. We've managed to pick up a, um, a station's camping ground with a fire and all sorts of stuff there. And um, we're heading across, um, across to Alice, across the uh, Plenty. So for now, guys, cheers. If you like this series, Give us a thumbs up. We want to hear about your exploits. I want to hear your stories too about some of these iconic people that are in this, this country, people that you've met that make this country what it is. Love to hear your stories. So don't forget, in the comments, tell us what you think about this area and what your experience has been. So cheers for now.